what's going on YouTube so in today's video we're gonna revisit an old video that I did about creating a lamp stat with docker but this time we're gonna do it the right way cue the intro After spending more time with Docker and hearing feedback on the way that I used to set up my Docker containers, I will show why my old knowledge of Docker was incorrect. And because of this, I was able to grow and learn how to properly use Docker. Granted, most of the videos that I did about Docker were created after I learned this new knowledge. But with that said, let's properly set up our LAMP stack Docker. The first thing that we want to do is to create our own MySQL database container. And the reason why we want to do this is because we can connect multiple containers to the same database and this allow us to optimize the number of MySQL instances that we have running at one time. In my environment, I already have a MySQL database created, so running this command will just result in an error. But normally, a new container would be created. <laughs> The next part that we want to do is to create our Apache Web PHP Docker image. At this point, we want to make sure that we have the configuration files needed for Apache and PHP so that we can override the default configurations from the repository. Our Docker image is going to be based off of Ubuntu. Uh, from there, we're going to install all the individual packages that we need in order for our web page to run. So that includes packages such as PHP, Apache, Curl, Nano, Vim, you know, whatever other packages that are missing. Oh, you used to be the one alone to search through the pathways. Oh, what we want all the corners just to keep you there replayed. This is the point where we will use the custom Apache and PHP configuration files that were created within the Docker project. Also, we should enable the needed Apache modules and custom vehicles. Since we are running an Apache service, we will want to expose port 80 and 443. Also, for the command, we will execute a custom script because the script will make sure that Apache is started as well as execute the quote unquote bash command because that will prevent it from exiting the container. Once we're finished with the Docker image, we can start the build process. And this build process is gonna just take forever. So yeah, enjoy it and listen to the music while you, it does whatever it needs to do. Oh, 
into the feeling keeping me away from parting without you Hey, it's all I want to make Oh, it's dark all through our hard new days As we fall in time, as we crawl the bind Who will tell me what you saw me right now? Who will tell me what you saw me right now? As we fall in time, as we crawl the bind Who will tell me what you saw up right now? Who will tell me you can come me up right to worry, babe, we push it back to yesterday, but don't fall back too late, it was just a feeling, just like you would say, oh, we keep it honest, but don't be too late, but the light will crawl down and reach our place, oh, trust your nerves, but inside we place, Keep your eyes still on you on me. Breathe it all in my taste, baby. As we fall in time, as we crawl the back. Who will tell me what you saw me right now? Who will tell me what you saw me right now? As we fall in time, as we crawl the back. Who will tell me what you saw right now? Once we have successfully built our image, then we can use the Docker run command to link our container to our database, as well as the location of our code base. With this, we have a functioning website running under Docker. Now this is a proper way to build a LAMP stack environment using Docker. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Other than that, thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.